Hi Rez, how many times do we need to keep doing the same old song and dance where you do the exact opposite of what your community wants and shoot yourself in the foot? We need to talk. Alright, so the other day Hi Rez released a patch on PC, PS4, and Xbox One Realm Royale, getting us a little bit closer to an open beta date for the console versions. They did make the Founders Packs available to purchase, so you can actually get into the closed beta now by purchasing one of the Founders Packs, as well as opening the shop, at least on Xbox One. I still think the shop is not actually open on PS4 yet, uh, but we are getting a little bit closer to that, so it is coming. But after doing this patch, they actually announced the next patch, which will be the open beta patch, or known as Patch 14, that will arrive in a few weeks in January. And this next patch, uh, they've got to do a major overhaul on. They're going to end up making a lot of people mad. Now, they didn't release a detailed patch notes for this upcoming patch, but they did make a big announcement about the patch, and I think, well, no, I, I scratched that. I don't think, I know this is a terrible, terrible idea. And hi res if you're watching this, which generally with the several of my videos you have, please, for the love of God, let's skip this whole thing where you pretend that, you know, myself and the rest of your community are wrong, and you don't listen, and you go forward with this, and then you realize you were wrong, and then you try to revert to save your player base. Uh, and usually that ends up not working, at least with this game. It's been proven to not really work all too well. So let's just skip all that, listen to what I have to say in this video, think about it, and don't do what you're planning on doing. Now, with the next patch, they are planning on getting rid of the chicken nuggets. If you don't know what those are, if you've not been playing the game, um, this will affect you as well as it affects the people that are already playing the game. Now, the chicken nuggets can be found um, from getting kills and also for winning. Now, before this patch that we got the other day, you could also find them in loot chests. And what you can do is you can use those chicken nuggets you find or earn in a game towards buying a skin out of the shop without actually spending real money. Not everything can be bought with these nuggets, not all the skins, not all the sprays, not all the emotes, uh, but some can. And this was actually a very big motivating factor for this game actually getting so much traction that it's getting now. Uh, because they did lose quite a bit of their player base when they actually, you know, got rid of the classes. And the chicken nuggets, once they, you know, brought classes back and made, you know, skins purchasable with these, gave people a reason to play, to continue playing and to grind and to win matches. And not only that, but it gave the incentive to actually fight rather than camp because you got nuggets for getting kills. So it made the game more interesting. It gave people more of an incentive to play and be more active rather than just camp and hide. And I do not think I can stress this enough. Do not. I repeat, do not do that. You are not Fortnite. You don't need to try to copy what they do. They have a major advantage over you, and that for one is player retention. They were pretty much the first free-to-play Battle Royale game. Back then when they released, if you wanted to play a Battle Royale game, you had to play PUBG for $30 or H1Z1 for $30. There was no free-to-play options, but now there is a ton of them. They are all coming out of the woodwork. So do not copy what Fortnite does. Had you retained your player base from way back when you initially released this game and you hadn't already not listened to your community and kept your players, you might be able to pull this off and just say, okay, we're going to purchasable only with real money skins. But you really, really screwed your player base when you got rid of classes and you didn't listen before. Right now, the reason players like myself even came back to the game and continue to play now is because, yes, I would spend real money if there was something that I really wanted to spend real money on, but I don't have to spend money and I can play and earn stuff. That's going to keep your player retention. That's going to get people interested in your game. When you have player retention, people will spend money on your game. If you're not holding players, there's really not a point. Because, let's face it, your Season 1 Battle Pass that's been reused, I think, three times now, uh, is not that great. Unless you're Dino Dan, you're really not that hyped about the Season 1 Battle Pass. There's really nothing that cool in it. The mount is kind of cool, uh, but it's really not all that awesome. It's not really something a lot of people want to spend money on. Um, a lot of the skins that people buy and use are the skins they can get from playing the game and spent grinding out nuggets. Now, if you get rid of these nuggets, you are going to hurt your player base because people are not going to want to keep playing. If you've got no reason to grind, there's really not. I mean, what else are we grinding for? These ranks that are absolutely useless that nobody else can see besides us. I mean, yeah, they're cool, but I mean, you can pretty much just lie in a match and tell people you're a rank because nobody can see your ranks. So the, the ranking system isn't a good indicator on 
getting people to actually play your game and grind because nobody really cares about those ranks right now. Just in general, your attention to detail over the things that you've been doing and the way you've not been paying attention to your community has really been, it's really been noticed. I mean, even with this patch you just dropped a couple days ago, the same day you got rid of the ability to find the nuggets in chess, uh, you stuck an achievement into the game where you could only get the achievement for finding 20 nuggets out of a chest. So you literally broke your achievement system and put an achievement in there that nobody can get you can unlock it because I know I found way over 20 uh, nuggets in a chest and it still has not unlocked that for me since you activated the achievement. So I've got almost every other achievement in this game except for that one. And uh, I'm not really sure. It's like you're not paying attention. Um, you said when you were uh, initially testing the chicken nuggets that you, you wanted to thank everybody that gave you feedback on the system and now you're removing it. There is no way. I want to meet the person that said, You know what? Getting all this stuff for free is cool and all, but I would rather just hide and look awesome. But yeah, high res at the end of the day, you need to stop. You need to stop doing this thing where you say you listen to the community and then you do the exact opposite of what anybody wants. People play games like this because they feel like they can achieve something. Even if it's a, if, even if it's a grind, if they feel like they can work hard and get something for free, they're going to be more apt to give you their money when something really cool comes out because, hey, you provided them with an experience and you provided them a way to unlock stuff without spending money. Now, like I said before, you're not Fortnite. Fortnite gets away with only having skins that cost money because it's Fortnite. They've not lost a crap ton of players because they did the exact opposite of what the community wants multiple times. You guys have already had to dig yourself out of a hole with this game. Um, don't you can't even tell me this game wasn't close enough to being on the verge of being shut down this play, this game almost had no players at one point in time because you didn't listen so you know if, if you need a refresher course go back through and look through some of my other videos that I've done when you've done really shady things I wasn't wrong on any of the things that I'd said about that so let's just not do this again let's just move forward find a way to work with your community and give them a patch that they will actually appreciate Make something that benefits both you and them. You know, maybe make it a little harder to unlock nuggets. Maybe change it from nuggets to something else. Maybe make it to where the things that they have to unlock with nuggets are randomized. And then it wouldn't fall under the gambling thing uh, because it's not real money. Maybe make it to where you, have to, you can get loot boxes to get skins with these nuggets. And you could get a skin that you really want. But you could get something you've already got, which you'll have to break down for fewer pieces. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do that your community would probably be okay with, but just getting rid of this system entirely and making it to where they have to spend money on you know, skins is a very, very bad idea. But that's all the time I got for this one, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like this video and you wanna see more, please do me a favor and click that red subscribe button. If you wanna know anytime Nathan or I upload videos, please click that bell icon so YouTube will actually send you a notification. But as always, I will see you guys next time.